you very much. Hold on, you uh, smell really good. <laughs> Chefs don't tend to smell that nice. Um, good morning. Um, first of all, can I just say thank you so much for coming out today and make, making me feel so welcome here in Melbourne. Um, we're not shooting Kitchen Nightmares, okay? Now Gordon, I just want to warn you from the start. Yes. I grew up in a family where we were never allowed to swear. Right. And for my children, they know that if they swear they get wasabi. Wasabi. Don't tell me that you love wasabi or I'm in trouble. I fucking love it. <laughs> Who doesn't love wasabi? Listen, okay. I know it's not cool to swear, but when you work with the Muppets I have to work with, sometimes, sometimes a naughty word comes out. Okay, right? that's natural. Okay, and come on, put your hands up in the air if you swear. Oh no, oh no, okay. I oh, I love you. I did the world's biggest tube of wasabi. We're so grateful that you're here in Melbourne above all. I know that you've got 31 restaurants. When are you opening in Melbourne? Come on! I, I would love to come back here. I swear to God I would love to. Can I do a quick selfie? Yeah. Just to Just to send to my mum. To your mum? Yes. She's... There we go. Ready guys? So I need... I need What's your mum's Shit, I turned it off. <laughs> Appearance. I would offer to take it. Okay, I know. Okay, you ready? Ready, guys? Ready? Thank you so much. Okay, what does your mum think um, of the new book? Um, mum is a um, mum's a big fan. Um, I wonder what you're going to do there. I'm so sorry. Um, <laughs> Uh, we've got to do a lot of work today. We've got to do some meet and greet. Okay, and yeah. then um, we're going to... Tell us how you found the time to write this magnificent book. Do we want to sit up here? Okay. Is that okay here? Where am I going to go? I'll go around here. No, I'm going to come up with you. I'm you, going you to break the table. Yes. Can you hold that? No. That's much better. All That's right, much then. better. Um, so, Fit I just, Yeah, tell us all about the book. Um, it's so wonderful. For me, being a busy chef, um, Four amazing kids. Expensive kids, right? Yeah. Why are girls more expensive than boys? I don't know, I've got boys. Man, I got three girls. And they're not getting boyfriends before they're 21. Good idea. Very, very good idea. So, um, Fit Food is all about just what we do on a seven day week basis. Um, time is limited and it's very, um, it's very full on in our household. And um, Matilda is a young um, up and coming cook. We've got to talk about Matilda. Is that okay if Please. we mention Matilda? Because Matilda has a huge fan club here. Yes. We love Matilda. How does that feel to have your child, let alone beautiful Matilda, following in your footsteps? Yeah, she wanted to come with me. We would have loved and, um, to have looked she, after Matilda. She's got exams. So, uh, I know, I know. So, um, I promise them next time okay. that she can come with us. Um, also, I think when they were growing up, as other parents in London were buying iPads and Xboxes, I was buying the kids turkeys, pigs and sheep. So I sort of taught them I'm how sorry, to... sorry, you bought your children a pig. What yeah. to have in the back garden? To bloody eat. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Why, why did you what? do that? What, 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 you love bacon, don't you? I love bacon. I so, live for bacon. So for me, the most important thing was giving them a little sense of purpose. Um, a little part-time job, cleaning out the pens. They love bacon sandwiches, full English breakfast every weekend. Uh, we fed one of the pigs beer and one of the pigs sort of water. Oh, infused beautifully. And we got we got the pigs pissed. <laughs> it was so cool. But the sweetness of the meat after all yeah. that cherry beer was amazing. I think what I was trying to say more importantly is that they understood no waste. Yeah. They respected food. And then after the pigs, we had turkeys. Then after the turkeys, uh, we had... Did you had... eat the turkey for Christmas or Thanksgiving? Yeah, Christmas. <laughs> yeah, the big mistake I made was naming them all I named my turkeys after chefs, so there was Nigella. Which one was Nigella? The bird with the big breasts. Oh, of course, of course, the bird with the big breasts, right, oh, yeah. And then there was um, Delia. Who was the pig? Who was the pig? De oh, that was, um, I've forgotten the names now. Um, 
Trini Susanna, thank you. Yes, oh Trini Susanna. Serious right. fans. Serious fans. Um, and then we had um, we had fun with it. Yeah. And then I caught Matilda upstairs in the bedroom with her turkey. Oh dear. She said she was. I she think wanted she was to keep six. the turkey. She wanted to keep the turkey. She knew the next day they're going to the slaughterhouse. Oh dear. So I said, look, I'll take the feathers off the turkey and make a nice pillow. <laughs> that didn't go down too well. No, no, no. not very well. At However, all. I'm curious. Do any of your children swear? Yes. No. What? How come you know? No. Um, we know. It's an interesting language, and everybody makes mistakes, and sometimes the naughty F word drops out. Okay. You should see the kind of shit I have to eat. What? You should see some of the crap that gets put in front of me. Not from Matilda. No, not from Matilda, but like, you know, when we go into Kitchen yeah. Nightmares, or Hotel Hell, or, um, um, or MasterChef. America. America. Not, not MasterChef uh, Oscar. I have to say, I'm yes. so excited we start filming on Monday. Do you know that Gordon's here to do MasterChef? You do yeah. MasterChef. How amazing. And first of all, I mean, not just a nation of foodies, um, clearly, but MasterChef Australia has become a phenomenon because um, being the other end of the world, you've got no idea how powerful that program is and how many fans back in the UK amazing. now prefer the Australian MasterChef to the boring English master chef. How cool is that? Why? I think it's about the participants and the hunger and the desire and the judges. And we love the judges. Now I know that we've got you in Australia for a few days. What are you looking forward to most now that certainly now that you're here in Melbourne and we've got you here for a little while in Melbourne? Yes, and uh, maybe gonna see some tennis tomorrow. Oh brilliant, yeah. That should be nice. Um, filming Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then Thursday I've got to fly back to Vegas. Um, we have a new Hell's Kitchen restaurant opening on Thursday night. Oh my God. Uh, first ever. And Tr then... Truly, Gordon, you know, I'm looking at this wonderful book, and we all know about, about your love of sport, fitness, soccer, of course. Really and truly, with 31 restaurants, how do you find the time to keep up your level of fitness? Because Gordon's in great shape, isn't he? Yeah. You're an amazing shape. Chef. How do you fit it all in? How do you do it? That's a good question. Chefs are notorious eaters, so we never sit down and eat dinner before we cook dinner. And any chef that turned around and said, yeah, we eat before we cook, would be lying. So we're, we're very lucky, we get to graze and pick all day long. So I eat five times a day, but small portions, okay. and keep it light. And then, I don't know if you've ever seen me in the kitchen, but I keep on my toes. <laughs> what I don't get is we see your on-camera persona, which is fiery. Me? Yeah, yeah, fiery, we know you're fiery. But everyone that's been on this press tour has told me, you are the most charming, sweet, gorgeous gentleman. What's the real Gordon? Who is the question. real Gordon? That's a good question. So, um, everybody knows pressure is tough. When I started cooking, um, I wanted to win three Michelin stars. And so, at that level, I want, I want to be a perfectionist. So I don't tolerate ignorance, and I don't tolerate, you know, sloppiness. Competitions like MasterChef and Hell's Kitchen and Kitchen Nightmares, I want the best. Yeah. So I push them to the very, very, very limit. And sometimes, you know, there's a few uh, heated exchanges, which I think is healthy. Yeah, absolutely. You, let it out, let it out. You get it off your chest, you get straight to the points, and then you move on. 